your motivation? Tourism is a very large and growing part of the economy. It accounts for 7% of world exports, over 300 million jobs, and has been steadily and globally increasing for the past 10 years, with the exception of the past year, of course. We're hoping to get back on track. In some countries, these numbers are even larger. We're gonna build a theoretical framework with spatial consumption, labor supply decisions, and fixed factors, which I'll explain why we need all these things later. We're going to have microgeographic data on expenditure flows and commuting, which will be a big contribution of this project because we had really, really good data to answer this question. And then I'm going to discuss how we bridge both theory and data to estimate price and income responses that will turn out to be the main elements of our welfare analysis. This paper first uh, um, documents new interest city spatial patterns of consumption for both locals, so we're also going to look into residents and tourists. We're going to do that with big data on spatial expenditure flows and also commuting. How our model delivers a very intuitive analytical expression that summarizes intra-city welfare analysis with a part for income. Think of it as tourism's come, they bring jobs, well, wages go up, and price effects. Tourism's come, they come to Airbnb or they buy at your favorite restaurant, prices go up. So it's going to be a race between these income effects and these price effects. We have three groups. We're going to talk, even though eventually we're going to pull tourists, we're going to be able to differentiate foreign and domestic tourists. Uh, and at some point, I'm not going to talk about that today because it's a work in progress, but we, we are able to separate these foreign tourists in by country of origin. Um, then Barcelona residents. And so just to summarize, think of it as a matrix for locals, where you live, where you buy, in which in all 20 sectors for 36 months. And for tourists, it's just where you buy, your country of origin, 20 sectors and 30, uh, 36 months. I'm gonna show you three maps. Well, I guess four maps, but three points. The first one's gonna show you how this, how tourism expenditure is distributed within the city compared to locals. The second, oh, this is a typo, I apologize. This, this is a uh, uh, apostrophe S. The second one is how locals consumption geographies, geographies it means how locals consumption differs across space, but based on where they live. Okay, if you, is your consumption if different across the city if you live in the center and if you live outside. And finally, I'm going to show you a relation between tourists and locals consumption. So the takeaways are that tourist shock, we're going to think of tourism as a tourist shock in a census block. Uh, tourist shock size varies across the city landscape. Second point is that local consumption geographies differ by city residence tiles. Okay, that so those two things together, as I already pointed out, are important because this is how much tourism there is varies across the city. Now, if you're nearby one of these, you're very much affected because local consumption differ by city residence style. Now, if this if you live far from it, you're not very much affected. Now. We're gonna show you that because of commuting, there might be connections with tiles that where you don't live, but I'll show you soon. And then finally, I showed you some evidence that tourism consumption crowds out local consumption. Uh, the takeaways from the welfare formula or our theory side is that the change in welfare for locals living in block N, in a specific block, is a combination of the income change, how much their income changes given where they work, how much the price changes given where they buy. And we have this in the data, the expenditure and community matrices. And now the question is, how does income and prices, how do income and prices respond to the tourist shock? So I show you new data with new interest city spatial patterns of consumption for both residents and tourists. Uh, I showed you a new, a, the basics of a new theory or a new application of a theory that provided an intra, a, a formula for intra-urban welfare analysis. 
with this methodology to estimate uh, heterogeneous treatment effects of uh, expenditure shock. And finally, we ended up with a new insight that we're still working on to tell you, because we don't want to say that in general, Chris hurts until we're, we've done some counterfactuals, but in this back of the envelope population, we found that the medium change was negative, but there's still some gains uh, around the city. So it's a question of learning how to redistribute within the city.